Hey guys, so um, today we're going to be looking at the NBT solutions to the exemplar questions. Now these questions uh, were taken directly from the NBT website and in the description box below I will um, uh, put in uh, all of these questions as well as uh, you will be able to click on a barcode next to each of the questions and it will direct you to more YouTube videos. So I hope it helps and let's get started. So question one says, the function f is defined by y equals minus x squared plus 6x minus 5. And they are asking, does it have a minimum y value or a maximum y value? And does it have a negative y intercept or a positive y intercept? So what does all of this mean? Well, here's what's important. In front of the minus x squared, there is a negative. Uh, but before we start, let's see. We've got an x squared, an x, and a constant. This means this will be a parabola type of graph. So when there's a minus in front of the x squared, we know that the shape will be a sad face. All right, and if we do a Cartesian plane like this with your x and y axis, we are going to need to roughly sketch this graph in order to answer the question. So how do we determine a turning point of any of a parabola basically minus b over 2a what is b and what is a well minus 1 because there's invisible 1 in front of the x squared so a is minus 1 b will be a 6 and c will be a negative 5 but we just need the b value which is a 6 and we need the a value which is a minus 1 so the turning point, this is actually for the x value of the turning point. So the answer here will be 3. How to get the y value now is substitute x is 3 into the original equation. So wherever we see an x, we're going to put a 3. Minus 5, there we go. So if we, oh, oopsie. So wherever we see, wherever we see an x, we put a 3. Alrighty, and if you work this out, you should get your answer of 4. So the turning point is therefore x is 3, y is 4. So there's our x, there's our y. Let's make this y a little bit higher. Four would be around there for y, x, if x is three. So wherever they meet, this is gonna be your turning point. What else is important here? Positive or negative y intercept. Well, what does y intercept mean? It means when x is equal to 0. That is what a y-intercept is. So we take the original equation again. y equals minus x squared plus 6x minus 5. What are we trying to get? We're trying to get a y-intercept. So to do that, we need to say let x equal to zero if we do that we should get well that's going to be a zero that's going to be a zero so y will be equal to minus five so there's your right axis minus five would be around there ish that's a huge dot but okay um and we know that our graph is going to be a sad face. So let's try and make this look 
neat as possible. We're going to go through that dot. And we're going to go through this dot over here. And, well, it's not as symmetrical as I'd like it to be, but you get the idea. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is NBTs. It's not art. Well, not even art. It's not... It's not... You're not getting marks, basically, for constructing the graph. It's just to get the answer. So you need to be as quick as possible. So... Um, so, so why did we even do this? Well, um, let's see. Do we have a minimum y value or a maximum y value? Let's see. If we look at this yellow part, its uh, y value is 4 over there, right? If we had to just do dots there, the y value is 4 at that turning point. This means that we've got a maximum y value. The graph cannot go higher than that. There is no y value higher than that in this graph, so it's a maximum y value. Okay? Um, so wherever it says minimum y value, just cross it out because those answers don't uh, apply for now. And then, um, is it a positive y-intercept or a negative y-intercept? Well, if you look at this minus 5 here, y-intercept meaning the graph is going to, is cutting basically the y-axis at a minus number. So we've got a negative y-intercept. So we've determined it's a negative y-intercept and a maximum y-value, which means b is not in the picture. And the final answer is d.